بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه من ولا ما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال تبارك الله تعالى كما ورد في سورة الفرقان وجعلنا بعدكم لبعد فتنة أتصبرون إلى آخر الآية رب إشرح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل العقدة من لسان يفقه قولي وجعل لي وزير من أهلي آمين يا رب العالمين this life is full of challenges that's the difference between this life and jannah because in jannah you won't have any challenges and one of the health crisis which we are facing for last year or so is actually corona but one of the social challenges which we as a human being face in every day-to-day -day routine life and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about that in quran surah al-furqan the ayah which i just recited is the challenge that you all and myself, we all were going to have a troublemaker in our life, at least one, if not more. And Allah have placed them. So whether you will go to work or in a school or in masjid or in community, even in your own family, there will be a one troublemaker at least who will going to insult you, who will going to criticize you when you don't need criticism, who will going to find negativity in you when there isn't any, who is just keep looking at your flaws. And a point will come when you will ask Allah, why is that person even in my life? You know why? Because Allah says in Surah Al-Furqan, Ayat number 20, وَجَعَلْنَا بَعْدَكُمْ لِبَعْدٍ فِتْنَةً أَتَّصْبِرُونَ Allah says, it is Allah who have placed these individuals in your life as a fitna. Fitna means test and trial. أَتَّصْبِرُونَ To test your patience. It is Allah's planning that Allah has placed someone in your work, someone in your family, someone in your masjid, a troublemaker, a insulting person, a immature person to test if you are mature or not. A person who will misbehave with you to see if you are well behaved or not. This is Allah's planning, subhanAllah. And before I can tell you what did we learn from this ayah, because very short, we'll go for five minutes, just one thing which we have to understand carefully. That whenever we speak about this, oh there is a there is a social challenge, people will going to create a lot of trouble for you. Don't think about others. Don't have that, don't have that victim mentality. That okay, there is someone in my life who is a fitna for me right now. Yes, Allah says, there will be someone, if not more than one, who is a fitna for you right now. And you might be fitna for some other people. It's a cycle. So don't think about victim, oh, okay, actually there are people who are negative in my life. Maybe you are negative in someone else's life. So you need to work on that also. And that's the bottom line. Why Allah did that? To test who is patient among us. What did we learn from this ayah? First, next time, next time, Whenever there is a troublemaker in the community, at the work, in family, don't just run away from that place. There is no way you can escape them in the light of this ayah. You will say, oh, there are so many troublemakers here. Let me just go to some other Islamic organization and get active there. There will be trouble, troublemakers there waiting for you. And who have placed them? Allah. For you. To test your patience there. Wherever you will go, wherever you will go, in your family, in your community, in your masjid, because this life is again not Jannah. So remember this first point that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had placed certain individual in our life to test our patience. Second point we are learning. Whenever you see any immature person in your life, instead of crying that why is he not mature, you have to become more mature in the light of this ayah. You have to become more mature in how to deal with these immature people. Because remember, Allah says, tasbirun. This is an opportunity for us whenever we're going to see these people in our life, challenging people. This is an opportunity for us to learn how to be patient. 
So instead of crying that why the world is so immature, you should fix yourself and you should become more mature in dealing with these immature people. And the last point which we can learn from this ayah about the person skills or social skills, you cannot fix all the prop social problems of dunya. You cannot. But what you can fix is yourself. Allah says, there will be people who will going to be challenging you. There will be difficult people in your life. There will be troublemakers in your life. What you have to do, atasbirun. You have to be patient. You have to be patient. In every aspect of life, in every walk of life, you're going to see those people. But the, the reason why those people are placed is not to fix the entire issue because you cannot fix everything. But you can take that as an opportunity and be patient. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us that ability to be patient. Ameen, Ya Rabbi. Allah mansur al-Islam wa al-Muslimin. Allah mafzul man khazal adina Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa la taj'alna ma'ahum. Allahumma la taj'alna dhanban illa ghafarta wa la hamman illa farrajta wa la daynan illa qadayta wa la hajatan min hawaij al-dunya wa al-akhara illa qadaytaha ya arham al-rahimin wa la maridan illa shafayta wa la maytan illa rahimta wa la dhalan illa hadayta ya arham al-rahimin. Allah